All right, first stump the stoner question is, there is a woman who, in Britain, and that's a hint, in Britain. Britain? With who, a B, Britain? British. She's a British woman who uh, saw something that she liked, and she wanted it so badly that she paid $10,000 for it. What do you think it might be? Okay, am I one? Am I supposed to answer who the woman is or what the thing no, is? No, what she bought for ten thousand dollars. It's something that she saw on TV during a huge, huge monumental event. Is it like um, the the royal s- wedding commemorative plate uh, from You're halfway there? <laughs> um, so close, <laughs> so so close. So close. How about how about the royal wedding, like her wedding dress? Pippa Middle, or not Pippa. See, I heard Pippa Ooh! Middleton. Oh! They gave me like a little. That's a hint. They gave me a little, a little hint because okay. they were reading the. Uh, so it did. It does have something to do with Pippa Middleton. Okay, but we had a song. That could we it possibly? Sing. It, it could. It, it's not Kate Middleton's wedding dress. No, no, it's not. Okay, it's so off the wall. Can, can we give a clue? If I remember correctly she, from the royal one, wedding, we'll give a clue. She had this funky hat. Was it the hat? No. It wasn't the hat. <laughs> I love this. Was it sexual favors from Pippa Middleton? She, she bought $10,000 for sexual favors for Pippa. Yeah, Woo! I didn't think yeah, so. Yeah, that wasn't it. $10,000 for the sexual favors from Pippa Middleton? I'll... You do that? Uh, sure. That's not included. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, but, but along those lines, it's something that you would maybe see during a sexual encounter. Right? How good was that one? Oh, we want to give a clue. Okay, sorry. Uh, do Baby I have to go back, back. to um, Eleanor Roosevelt's dildo or no. something? <laughs> that was from last week. He just, he just gave you a hint. And uh, oh, were, oh, I didn't oh, catch that. Baby's got back. Coming from the Irish guy. That sounds kind of funny when you say oh. it. She bought her her butt plug. Oh. No! <laughs> Close, close. Kind of close. He's talking about Incredibly <laughs> close. <laughs> well, this is this, the, the iPhone's going crazy. Okay, um, she uh, did. Did she have like a butt implant or one of those like one of those falsy butts? It's a butt. That, it a is butt. a butt implant. <laughs> a yes. butt implant. She she bought she, Pippa Middleton's yes. butt implant. This divorcee that Jenny so Fitzgerald wrong. watched the royal wedding of Kate Middleton. Blah blah blah, and was overcome with love for Sister Piper Pippa's whatever overcome. the hell perfect posterior. Oh God. Pippa, 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 Pippa. Anyway, a Miami doctor a Miami <laughs> doctor offered her a Pippa butt lift. <laughs> right. Which she had to gain a bunch of weight so they could suck it out and blow it into her butt. <laughs> and now God. she's and now she's engaged, so she says her ten thousand dollar investment paid off. Oh, nice. Is okay. that horrifying or what? Yeah, it was horrifying, but that was some very nice alliteration, if I may add. Thank you very, very nice. much. Yeah, I like that's that. Good, that's good. Okay. Okay. Ready? <laughs> next. Uh, next. 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 Number two. Okay. So do I get a point for that one? Uh, yeah. No, you didn't. Half you a about, point. You can have a half okay. because you did kind of get the royal wedding and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but they gave it to him. He heard it. That's okay. They just said, they just said Pippa that Middleton. It? That's all. The ticker theme song. Oh, okay. The ticker theme song. What a fucking about the ticker theme song. Nice. <laughs> See, I knew yeah. I'd like you guys coming in. Yeah. <laughs> That's my ringtone. <laughs> my new favorite that. band right here. Yeah, totally. Totally. <laughs> they know That's who Tigger is. But I gotta explain like a it. There's a certain bald headed guy I know. My niece and nephew love Tigger, so that's Who could that be? It, so. That is so awesome. Okay, here Say we go. Okay. Second one, second one. All right. Okay. This, now we're switching it from Britain over to Germany. Oh, we're this, going. This, oh, Germany. This particular um, place is now, a, um, is now a hotel. Auschwitz? In Ge- no. In <laughs> Germany. God, that's I hope horrible. not. Horrible. But you know what? <laughs> You're kind of along the right <laughs> really? lines, okay? Great, okay. It's okay. What the hell is a, this? It's a British tour operator has changed this one particular thing uh, uh, after that was that was let's just say it was active during World War II. It's okay. now a hotel, and I'll tell you what they're offering their guests um, later on. Hitler's bunker. I oh, know that was exp- they, we give another clue? the Allies exploded that. This one is pretty crazy. This one's pretty say. nuts, actually. Okay, so we're if talking. If you guys can think of a clue that I'm totally. We're talking Germany. We're talking World War II. Yeah. Um, we're talking tourism. It's what Batman would have said to Robin in the old days. Oh. In the old days. Oh, nice. Uh-oh. 
you know what? like Robin, why do you look so good in those tights? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that just threw me off. Or I don't know. I don't know. Where, like, so the princess would stay. Like, where the king and queen and princess would live. The princess, where the princess would live where in Germany in World War Two. Holy meltdown, Batman! Just Holy. in general, just in general, where would, where would, a, where would a king, where, where would a queen live? Um, in a castle. Ah. Okay. Okay. Awesome. All right. More, more German, precise. German castle. Okay. Okay. Yeah. More precise. What What would happen when Batman hits Robin? Um. Nice. He'd go. Ouch. That was good. That was boom. Good. Bang. Pow. Yeah, there you go. But what, what What is that? What is that? An anagram for? What could pow stand for in terms of military and war? Oh. Okay. It's a POW camp. Nice. There you go. So, okay, so this guy in Germany okay. is now doing tours of a POW camp. A British tour operator has transformed a German castle used as a Nazi nice. prison uh, during World War II. Thanks for the help, guys. Into a, <laughs> no, right? Here they go. Totally. Into a hotel that promises to give the tourists, ready, a prisoner experience. <laughs> wow. What the hell? A prisoner experience in World War II Germany. Uh, the starvation, stay yeah. for the mustard gas. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> you know, no, I, that was not a wow wow. That was freaking brilliant. Yeah, okay, was good. you know what? Was I, good. I got is nothing that, more than that. That was awesome. No, and for is that a whopping, half a point, so I get like a, a, you know a full what? point. You get a quarter point on that okay, one because okay. they helped right. you a lot on that. So thirty-two bucks, three quarters of a point. Thirty-two bucks a night, you can get the experience. Wow, only thirty-two dollars yeah. a night. It's cheaper than any. <laughs> hotel That's cheaper than like Motel Six. Yeah, totally. Yeah, right. That's the scariest part right there. <laughs> okay. I was stayed at a hotel. Or was at a motel. It only cost fifty bucks, and there was a full bar. It was like a tiki torch. There was like a, a, a booze party. Where was this? On uh, in Century Boulevard, wasn't that right, Paul? Yeah. yeah. Paul, I don't believe you. Yeah. Yeah. For fifty yeah. bucks. Hotel. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm totally full staying of there. Europeans and crazy ass. Oh well, there you go. That's <laughs> what. <laughs> and free twenty four hour coffee. Because they smell. Oh, yeah. On a heated pool. They do. They do. Yeah. Yep. Because okay. they don't shower over there. They don't they shower. shower. And they don't believe like in deodorant. Okay. What in Hollywood? I fit it, it right it in. European uh -huh. stuff. Uh, yeah. Okay. Totally. Right, let's I see like what this next one is. Okay, so ready? Here's the next one. Okay. Well, we kind of already talked about what happened. So Mike Wallace died. And he was 93 years yeah. old. Okay. Where did he actually get his start? What did he start on? Um, Mike Wallace? Yes. Uh, well, he was he an old fogey, so it was before TV on radio, I'm guessing. Um, okay. CBS Radio, a uh, war correspondent? No. No. Uh, it has nothing to do with news. It has nothing to do with news. Nope. Mike Wallace was a stripper. <laughs> Burlesque. Yeah. So they didn't have strippers back then. He, he was, I'm he was, sure they did, uh, but not guys. I'm Mike Wallace. Look at my pecs. <laughs> He looked good in sequence. <laughs> did he? Yeah, sure. really we got some pictures. Too bad it's black and white. Oh, where did Mike Wallace... You know what? I didn't read any of the like the obituaries or anything about Mike Wallace. All I read was a headline like, Mike Wallace he died dead at, at 93. 93. I was yeah. like, well, okay. Where did he get his start? Okay, well, we were kind of talking about um, um, Batman and Robin, so it's kind of along those same lines oh, was back he, in the radio days. Was he a POW in World War One? <laughs> It's a radio it, show. Okay, there were. It's a movie that came out uh -huh. starring Seth Rogen. Adam Sandler. That came out. Um, I don't uh, know who's in it. But it came out. Funny he people. Was a, he was a vigilante. He was drove a, a car. Oh, the the Green Hornet. Ah. The Green. He got his start on the Green Hornet. That was one of them, yeah. Oh, then, so he was like in radio plays and stuff like that. Yes. There's, there's, oh. so the Green there's Hornet one, and the other one. one oh, The Shadow Knows. It has three characters in there, and they're known as this in the movie. They're titled this, and one of those characters is Adam Sandler, I believe. Uh, the Three Stooges? Oh, I don't remember. Funny oh, no. no. Uh, okay. Three characters, the, classic. Think of the movie Airheads, starring Brendan Fraser and Adam Sandler <laughs> and Steve Buscemi. Okay. What was the name of the band in that movie? Oh! The Lone Ranger! Yeah. 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 Yes! Okay, I'm going to give you a... the Lone Rangers? <laughs> I'm going to give you a movie. full point because okay. that was good yeah. and you got it yeah. and I'm, I'm yeah. good with that. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah, thank indeed. you. Okay. Nice pool, guys. That I love that movie, good. too. That's an awesome movie. Very, very the nice, right? The yeah. Lone Rangers. That was a good movie. I'm just going to tie that in with the other fucking one as well. That's true. There you Adam go. Sandler's what? Oh, yeah, that's right. Along with Adam, Pippa's. Yeah. Right? Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here's the last one. The okay. last one. So what was one of the biggest um, purchases just recently? It's huge. Uh, you bought a car. No, not that one. And it was not worth this much money. Oh. 
A billion bucks. Oh, uh, giving it away now, Kelly. I, I know. I I just heard about this today, like yeah. like hours ago. Dude, um, because I am on it for current events. Yeah, Facebook just purchased Instagram. Yes. Whoa. And I will. Billion dollars. And and insane for a billion dollars, Jesus. A billion. I can't even. For how many one zero? billion dollars. Dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They bought. Uh, I I don't know if I want to use Instagram now. Yeah. That, <laughs> well, that's what they're kind of saying. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg is going to be even richer. So what's, wait, what's, what's the point of Instagram? I know you take pictures and you make it all vintage and hipstery. Yeah, that's, that's basically it. it. That's, that's pretty yeah. much it. That's the whole point. In fact, after this video is done, I'm going to put it on Instagram. I'm going to do an Instagram of you guys all hipster-like and vintagey, and I'm going to yeah. Put it in, says it won't I'm going to put it in 1977, and I'm going to put a. Uh, how do you how do you say it? What does Stewie say? Hmm? Oh, die. He's, uh, die. Uh, oh, like you with the save die on, and you did a. Uh, never mind. Never you're mind. choking. Okay. Okay. Well, this is what they're saying. Right. I didn't know what the hell you were going on about that, bro. It says, <laughs> so CNN says, will the Goliath of social networking make Instagram so uncool or Facebooky that it dies off entirely? I think All that right. Facebook purchased it. Uh, it's yeah. now uncool. We have a phone call. Yeah, I know. We do have a phone call. Oh, so that, that and was, you hung uh, up on him? Nope. Nope. She's on speakerphone. Oh, hi. So yeah, definitely. So here we go. We have our, the ending of our show here. Yeah. Oh, stop. Damn it. Hold on. I got to go out with the Are song. Are you sure someone's on the yes, phone? Yes, somebody's on the phone. She's I don't on. Hear anyone. That was a great Stump the Stoner. Oh, that was good. It was very fun. It was good. Oh, look at you. You're no, so thanks, you guys. Did good. Win or lose? No, I love it. They get the thumbs up. There you go. Yeah, you totally won. Always a winner. Yeah. yeah. There you go. All right, so thanks for helping uh, him out on Stump the Stoner because I think because I need all the help I can get. On that. He he Say bye, guys. Bye, guys. Au revoir. I read the dirt cheek. All right, you're on the Monday Night Meltdown. <laughs> so worldly and culture. With Kevin. <laughs>